the effect of forces on bone. Most bones we see are dead, dry bones that for all intents and purposes are a very solid object. And it gives us the impression that bones are very resilient, very durable, emotive objects. They're the, the building blocks of your body. Um, if bones were to move from simple, high, short duration forces, every time you ate a tough steak, your teeth would move, which they clearly don't, didn't do. Or every time you lifted a heavy weight, let's say weightlifters, they would get shorter which again they clearly don't. And so bone is very good at resisting short, high forces. And yet it's incredibly susceptible to very light, long force duration forces. Um, it's, it often surprises people just how susceptible bone is because of this thought of it being this strong, mutile substance. And yet, when you see a small, benign growth that happens slowly, the bone will have completely moved to allow this growth to occur. I mean, to some great extent, you know, centimetres of movement at a time, to allow a very soft, pliable um, growth. Um, frequently, when you look inside the cavernum, someone size inside the skull of a dried specimen, you'll see where blood vessels, and very fine little vessels, will have left a deep groove on this tough cortical bone that's there to protect the skull and the brain. And it's amazing, it always amazes me, just how movable bone is and how to short hard forces bone is that a movable substance? And yet, to gentle, long-acting forces such as those applied with orthodontics or posture, bone is very mobile. It's very susceptible.